folks here at osmvtxroots.com. You're watching our video review of the Polaroid iZone Generation 2 Instant Camera, which means you take an image and then you pull it out onto the side with the image already printed on there within just a few seconds. These are a pretty interesting uh, device. They definitely are a collector's item in today's standards because they were released over a decade ago, back in 2004, and the second generation model improves on the first by having a more streamlined design, more colorful colors, and a few more customization options. But it utilizes the same film as the original did, which are these pretty small uh, instant films. They have a pretty small dimension that's good for any keychain, but not great for any serious usage. But the Aizen were fun for kids to play around with, great for vacationing, great for you know light travel because they are so small and so portable and easy to carry. Taking a look at the design of this particular camera, you can see you have some face plates that you can actually customize. This is the bubble blue version that you can also peel them off, like on the top over here, and you can also sw swap them out for different colors, kind of changing the style of the camera in general. The plastic incorporated on the camera is pretty sturdy and high grade, so it doesn't creak or cringe, which offers a pretty good feel in the hand despite its plastic uh, design. The front of the unit features the viewfinder, the camera lens, you also have a uh, focus uh, shutter, and also you have access to a xenon flash. The top unit offers the camera shutter key, which you must press down for about two seconds before the camera is shot. And also there are a few modes for the actual lens itself, as well as, well as the xenon flash. And you can turn it into the house mode for an indoor shots, for the out in the sun mode for turning off, you know, kind of the xenon flash. And also you have a cloudy day mode, and they correspond to the different settings for the camera lens technology. You have a Polaroid iZone logo embezzled in chrome on the side here, and on the back of the unit we have access to the viewfinder, which is a little bit small but also works pretty well and pretty decently. You can definitely get a pretty wide angle view of the actual outside um, when you're actually putting it against your eye. There's also the place for the batteries, which device takes two AAA batteries to power the Xenon flash and the camera module in general. By not having the camera, not having the batteries in there, the device will actually not function at all. So you actually do need them. It's not just for the flash, it's for the entire camera. So they're semi-digital. There's also a lanyard strap, and of course on the back is where you would put in the film to be pulled out. Now they are a retro product by today's standards, but they do work pretty well, and just a nice little throwback product. Thanks for watching.